Welcome. In this episode, we will learn how to upload and download Excel files in a Golang web application. In the last episode, we learned about uploading and downloading CSV files. We will begin with this application. On this API, the application retrieves data from the database and displays the usage report on this page. We have this button here, which when clicked downloads the report in CSV format. Similarly, we can upload the data in CSV format. We will add a similar mechanism to download and upload data in Excel format. We will use this package, Excelese. This package is a powerful and efficient library for handling Excel files in Golang. It provides a wide range of functionalities to manipulate spreadsheets, including creating charts, handling cell styles, and managing complex data operations. We can install the package with this command. Let's install it. Let's add a button to download data in Excel in the view template. We add it here just after the CSV button. This is the API the button will call. This is the text of the button. Let's go to the main function and define the API. Here is the API and is mapped to this handler. Let's implement this handler now. To save time, I will paste the code here. This is the handler function. As the first step, we create a new Excel file by using the Excelese new file function. F is the file handler. In the file, we create a new sheet, sheet 1. The new sheet function returns the index of the sheet and error. We store the index of sheet 1 in the variable index. Next, we define the headers as a slice of string. These are the columns of the headers we have. Next, we add these headers to the Excel file. Here, we loop over the headers. The index is received in the variable i and the value in header. Now the column is calculated. This is how we calculate. We add the index to A. I is the index of the header. This expression takes the ASCII value of A and adds the index. ASCII of A is 65 and we add index value to it and is typecased into rune which is integer of 32 bits. And then it is converted to string. So when I is 0, the column will be A. For I1, it will be B. Next, we set the cell value in sheet 1. Here, we specify the column and row. This is the value which is the header. Next, the data is retrieved from the database with this model function and stored in this variable. The data is a slice of the user structure. Now we will write the data to the Excel file. We loop over this slice. Here, we calculate the row number. We add 2 to the index. We do that because index i starts from 0 and row 1 is the header and the data can start only from 2. Next, we set the cell values. This is the sheet where the data is written and this argument is column plus row as string. And the last argument is the value. 
A point to be noted here is there are different functions for different types of data to be written in the sheet. After the data is written, we will set the sheet that will open when the user opens the file. We pass the index to set the active sheet. This is the index of sheet 1. Now we set the response headers. The content type is this which specifies that the content is a spreadsheet. The content disposition is set to attachment and the file name is specified here. The file will be downloaded with this name. In the end, the file is written to the response writer. W is the response writer. If there is an error, respond with the appropriate message and status code. Let's try this. Restart the app. Refresh the page. Here is the button. Let's download the file and see how it looks. The data looks absolutely fine. Now we will add the functionality to upload an Excel file similar to this. In the view template, let's add a form to upload Excel file. Form submission calls this API and it accepts XLXS. Now, in the main function, let's add the API. The API is mapped to this handler. Let's implement the handler now. First, we check the request HTTP method. If it is not post, we respond with method not allowed. The file sent in the request is assigned to this variable file. If there is an error, respond with an appropriate message and status. Next, we defer the file closure as we want to close the file handle. This method, OpenReader, reads the file and returns a spreadsheet file. If there is an error, we respond with Unable to pass Excel file. Next, we read all the rows from Sheet 1 using GetRows method. The returned rows are stored in the variable Rows. If there is an error in reading, rows respond back to the user. Next, we add the data to the database. The rows variable is a slice of slices of string. The model method, add rows adds data row by row to the database. On error, respond back with this. If everything goes well, we redirect to the report page that reads the data from the database and shows on the view. Let's restart the app. Refresh the page. For now, I have cleared the table in the database. Now when we upload the data, this table will be filled. And it works. And there you have it. In this episode, we successfully implemented the functionality to upload and download Excel files in a Golang web application. Feel free to explore further and integrate more advanced features from the Excelize package to meet your specific needs. Thanks for watching and happy coding!